Hey Magic Community YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is the finals of the most recent Vintage Untap Open League, where I, unfortunately, while they did let me know it was happening, I didn't see it until a bit late, so my apologies. We're jumping in on game three. This is, uh, on the bottom we have Arsteel playing Dark Petition Storm. Uh, on the top we have Dank Catfidant, Confidant, Catfidant, whatever, playing um, uh, Ment Paradoxical Mentor, there we go. Uh, so, Mystical Tutor, uh, there, by the way, this is, uh, game three, and Dank is up both game ones. Uh, this is done, uh, best of five, so the first two games are gonna be mainboard only, and then after that, sideboard. So, they are already in sideboards now. Uh, so right now we have, uh, a card having been moved from the, uh, Mystical Tutor is resolved, it's on, the card is on top of the deck. Uh, so in hand we see, uh, Library of Alexandria, Mana Crypt, Dark Petition for our steel, and that looks like a... Now the resolution on here isn't great unfortunately, but I think that I'm seeing... Huh. I can't... Merchant Scroll, maybe? On top? Uh, in Dank's hand. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately the window that I'm looking at is not terribly... Alright, so that, that I do recognize, that's a Snapcaster Mage. Uh, and you see they have uh, Mana and Storm Count uh, being kept up. Those little indicators on the left. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a Storm Mirror, folks. Uh, in the meantime, that's Tinker off the top for Arsteel, so that's a, that's a pretty good card. However, no artifacts except for the Mana Crypt in hand, so we play Mana Crypt, Tinker leaves one mana open. Uh, that, that's a thing, that's something you could do. Well, actually, it's two mana because of Library. All right, and that looks like what we're going for here. All right, so that, that gets to resolve. <clears throat> ah, okay, so we're gonna just maximize, oh, no, we're gonna do petition first, dark petition. Uh, and yes, they do have spell mastery, so uh, what are they going to get? Instead of going for the tinker win, tinker into citadel, bolus of citadel, uh, instead they're going to go for uh, and, and they're gonna make uh, black 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 after this, so I guess it's gonna be Necropotence, I would think uh, So that you can just reload and it, it's a it's a safer option All right, uh, let's see we'll find out soon enough and If it works great if it doesn't work they still have tinker for later on so it, th that was indeed the better line, going with Dark Petition instead. You know, that's that's what happens when you play the deck and you know the deck, <laughs> unfortunately. Aha, so yeah, Necro. Uh, a Storm player, I am not, alas. But, you know, Necro for at least six, probably substantially higher than that. <laughs> uh, so that they not just get back to seven cards in hand, but also get to uh, have, a, have better cards to keep. Uh, Arsteel is saying they're dead. Um, I don't know why, like, having Necro is, is pretty good. Uh, now, now wait a minute, Arsteel does not have, uh, Force of Will in his deck, I believe. So, Dank gets a turn of Reprieve, no matter what. Yep, pay 14, so substantially higher. Shoutouts to Hot Coffee when it is... 90 Fahrenheit in here, which is 32 Celsius, I think. It's quite a bit. All right. So uh, there's a response that Dank has before the 14 cards get drawn. Because uh, the way that Necropotes is worded, they're going to be drawn at the end of turn. Um, you don't just draw it when the ability goes off. All right, so we are tapping Emerald, tapping... Ah, oh boy, oh boy. I know what that means. Alright, uh, so Mox, Emerald, Mox Opal, uh, Academy, and Top. Uh, so Top goes uh, to Top of Deck. There's a Paradoxical Outcome. Oh boy, good times. Returning them all to hand. Uh, and now they get to go. Okay, so that was interesting timing for it. Um, Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's a bunch of cards. And there's the Bolus Citadel. Ooh. 
I, you, you don't want to see that in your hand. You can't tinker for it now. Though they have enough mana, they're going to be able to cast it next turn anyway, so that's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, Chain of Vapor, there's one broken card in there. You'll see the red one. Uh, that is a duress. Uh, the art for it was apparently removed, and in doing so, it kind of broke the card after it was put into the deck. So, not much you can do about that, unfortunately. If they change the deck, it changes the deck hash, which is what the opponent can use to verify that the deck is as it was submitted. So, uh, I'm sure that gets changed after this season, if they still want to keep playing this deck. Having to think out your combo uh, a turn in advance is fun. Yeah, yeah indeed, the joys of running uh, a combo deck like this. Um, yeah, so by the way, a point of reference, you may actually notice by looking at the uh, at the chat down there, you'll see how quickly it's blinking. I'm actually recording this, or it's been recorded at double speed. Uh, <laughs> you'll see why in a bit. Unfortunately, this does take a while, so sorry about that. There will be some moments here where I'll just have to fill the void by talking. And talking, and talking. So, sorry about that. But yeah, there's Yogg Will, we still have the Tinker, there's uh, Brain Pluted Delta Brainstorm, Preordained Defense Grid, Mox Emerald, Duress, Chain of Vapor, Soul Ring, Defense Grid, Tolarian Academy, Mox Jet, and... Heh. Demonic Tutor? Or Vampiric Tutor? Alright. Can't quite see. You'll, you'll be able to see when I actually put this up, though, so I, I apologize for that. You know, as you do. As you do. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, Yui is hot in here. Good grief, it's hot. <laughs> Why did I decide it was a great idea to bring coffee? <laughs> All right. And, and this is why... Okay, so we're uh, counting up Storm. Oh, wait, why are we counting up Storm? Because uh, the cards are drawn at end of turn. I'm trying to think if they have any instant speed way to go off. Because the deck wins off of Tendrils of Agony. Uh, which does open it up to certain hate cards like Flusterstorm and Mindbreak Trap. Uh, Shoutouts to Mindbreak Trap. I was, at one point, strongly considering putting it in the main board for a, a previous meta when Karn was everywhere. Karn the Great Creator. Uh, because it would counter a Karn on turn one. That was a thing for a little while. <laughs> and then also Storm and whatnot. But yeah, Karn. All right, so... Oh, they're, yeah, they're discarding. That's what's going on here. So one more to go. Um, What's the last one going to be? Uh, so it's I would imagine Chain of Vapor because they're playing against another Storm deck. I, I wouldn't think that Chain... De well, no, wait a minute. They have Narset on the other side, actually. So no, never mind. It's gonna have to, they're gonna have to keep Chain. They, oh wait, they don't know about the Narset. That's right, I can see it, but they can't. Um, okay, so yeah, they, that was smarter. Uh, what did they get rid of there? It was Academy. Oh, that's interesting. Um, hmm, okay. That, I, hmm, I think that I would have rather kept Academy, drop a Mox. But if, if they're gonna actually play, well, they don't have Citadel to play anymore. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so on the other side we see Mox Opal coming back, and Mox Emerald uh, top makes sense. Alright, so they have the mana to play Narset. I would I would just drop the Narset now. You know what what's going to happen. Uh, and with Necro out, Necro does say uh, I'm actually trying to remember. I think Necro is they draw a card, not add a card to hand, and so they would be stopped by Narset. If that's the case. Of course, we know that Chain of Vapor's there, so it doesn't actually matter, but that would be that would be an interesting out. That would be a very interesting out in my estimation. Alright, so let's see. What is that? Uh th that's Vampiric Tutor. There we go. Okay. F6, I believe is what's going on here. Okay, yeah, that, that means no response. Uh, they could theoretically try to get some Necro in, or Force of Will, or something like that, but this is open deck list, so Dank actually knows uh, no Force of Wills would be expected. And in Dark Petition Storm, that's not terribly uncommon for them to not have Force of Will. It's something that waters down the deck, unfortunately. Um, Force of Will is a great card, but if you're playing Bolas Citadel, it does give a card that can stop you off the top, unfortunately. Alright, so I'm seeing... Hello. 
Was that... What was that? Time walk? Yeah, time walk. Okay. It's an interesting altar for time walk. Okay, so vamp. Oh, they said pay two for vamp tutor. Alright, they got there. They got there. Woo! Extra turn! Yay! Good times. Okay, so uh, Emerald into top again. Let's see what we have. This Nart. Oh, it's Snapcaster. Snapcaster. Okay, just taking an extra turn. Oh, our steel's at four! Oh, that's so. That's interesting. Our steel is at four, and Necro is out. So our steel can't draw anymore. I mean, they, they can, but, you know, Snapcaster, extra turn, hit for two. Our steel's at two. Ooh, man. Yeah, so this this is going to have to be next turn or bust. Not a, not a lot of time left to go. All right, so taking that next turn. And then we also have Narset. Just on top of it all, we have Narset, too. There's a, there's a lot going against our still here. Now, I know the outcome because I know the length of the video that's left to go. So, um, spoiler, sorry about that. <gasps> now, actually, you could draw another card. Our still could draw another card off of library. That, that is a thing uh, because Necro makes you skip your draw step, but you can still draw cards. It doesn't say you cannot draw cards. All right, so something else going on. Let's see, uh, fetch land into not sure. Uh, so the way that Dark Petition Storm wins is with uh, Tendrils of Agony. So every time you cross from an odd number to an even number, you make it where they have to, they need one less storm count in order to win off Tendrils. So cracking the fetch land is a thing. All right, so Narset's getting to do her thing. Going and adding a card, great. Whew, okay. So let's see. Waifu Zakanta. Blink. Uh, as Kanta, but Waifu, I guess? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Ban Dank for Weeb reference. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you could also do Search for Waifu. That's a thing. Well, it's not the Search for As Kanta that gets you new cards. It's... As Kanta the Sunken Ruins. Sunken City? Sunken something. Oh boy. Let's see. Alright, so this is this resolution does not make this easy, I'm afraid. But I think that that's Mock Sapphire. Yeah, it's it's the resolution and the fact that it's an altar that's hard for me to see. But yeah, Mock Sapphire. Cool. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> Oh boy. So yeah, taking your time. This is this is surely not easy. Um, so they've spun the top. If they find something, I'm trying to, another Snapcaster Mage. Maybe no, no, no. That wouldn't give them an extra turn because Time Walk's already exiled. Um, what could it be then? What could do it? What could do it for them? This turn. Ah, uh, tendrils. Well, let's see, um, they have Mox? Yeah, yeah, Tendrils would do it. They could fetch for the other black mana. So that'd be one, two, th oh no, it went in. They'd be one shy, one mana shy. Um, okay. And then if they don't like what they have on top, they can shuffle with Merchant Scroll and get another look. That's actually something of an interesting way to go about doing it, I think. Because, you know, they can spin the top later on, so... With three mana open, they can go Merchant Scroll, uh, then tap top again, not tap top, but spin the top, look at the next three, and then tap it if they you know, like something of theirs. But at this point, Force of Will would not do it. Maybe since this is a sideboard game, without looking at their sideboard, maybe there's like Mind Break Trap, something like that. Hmm. Hold priority. Okay. Oh, I see. So when you hold priority like that, ah! Wait, what? Alright, so they're going to fetch first. Okay, so they didn't like any of those three cards, so they're going to uh, tap it, hold priority fetch, so that when they draw the card off top, they'll get to draw a different card than the, the one it, ones in the top three. 
Stack top to bottom is Tarn Draw Rearrange. Okay, cool. I attack, look, okay, interesting. Okay, that's a that's an interesting way of doing it. Alright. Oh, I, I see, I see. That they, they did it. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I got it reversed. I thought they, they were cracking the tarn, then drawing, then rearranging. I uh, missed something there. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. So they don't get the they don't get to hold on to the top anymore. Hmm. Okay. Crypt. Oh boy. One mana floating. Merchant scroll. Yep, that was what it was. Cool. Woo! Very good. Sounds. Alright. And I'm out of cough. Well, oh no, there's a drop. There's a drop. Got there. Now, for me to get something cold to drink. Alright. <laughs> something not hot. That doesn't help. Alright, so what is this Ancestral Recall? Yep, draw three. Oh boy, this this turn just never ends. Alright, there's Black Lotus. This turn really never ends. Uh, Black Lotus, is that a Mox Jet as well? Oh boy. Oh boy. Almost, yeah. Not, not quite. Oh, oh, here we go. We had Mana Crypt. Ah, safe. Yeah, that, that would have been quite the way to end. Uh, but instead, and I knew, I knew that was going to, because again, the video length, I knew how that was going to go, but, <laughs> fun times, fun times, folks. Alright, well, well, that would have been quite the way for this to end. Uh, a 3-0, it, it would have been 3-0 for Dank if the Mana Crypt had gone the other way, but instead, we get to keep playing, and... Okay, you're a lucky son of a gun, eh? Alright, so, uh, two, and see what this is for. Uh, oh, nope, not the two, apparently. We're not tapping Mana Crypt yet. Alright, two, maybe, <laughs> no response. Alright, Storm Counter, we're about to cast something. Um, Soul Ring, I guess, to start off. Oh, Defense Grid. There we go. There's Defense Grid. I mean, why not? So the shields are complete... Well, you could crack Lo Black Lotus for <laughs> Force of Will, I suppose. Uh, Duress is being cast. Uh, there's Bolas Citadel, which is obviously a tech, and then Mox Ruby. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Citadel down. Both of them have their Citadels in the graveyard. Oh, boy. As you do. Or exiled, rather. Alright, so there's Soul Ring. And then, presumably, Chain on Narset, so that we can go off. I would guess. I would think. <sighs> Alright. Man, that's a lot of mana. Yep, so Chain... Make sure of what it's targeting. And then this last card here should be Tendrils of Agony, I believe. Which is a little bit unfortunate. It means we're not... Oh, wait, wait, if that's Tendrils, they could just return one of their own spells to hand. Right? Let's see. What, what mana was used for that? So they have one black mana still floating, three colorless... If I'm seeing that correctly. I guess... Let's see... You return... I guess Mox Jet, play Mox Jet, and then cast Tendrils off of it? Is that lethal? Am I seeing that correctly? Now granted, I, I may have missed the... Uh, I, I'm assuming that the, the mana is such that the chain has been cast and the blue mana removed, because there's zero blue mana left. If the rest of that mana is right, one and three colorless, then with Storm being at six, that should be it. It should be return Mox Jet, that puts you at seven Storm when you play it again, then cast Tendrils, and 
it's the tendrils plus seven copies, and D Dank is at 16. So fetching earlier actually made a difference there, if that's the case, if I'm seeing that correctly. So now we're just waiting for them to, to move along to that point, and this is part of why there's double speed going on. Um, all right, so yep. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? Is that not... Good, look at this. No, that is Chain of Vapor. I have no idea what happened to the lands there. I have so many outs in the game, pretty sad, but the coin flip is cool nonetheless. Alright. Well, um... Yeah, I, we got there. I'm not sure what happened to the to the lands, but... GG. Got the, the GG on it. Oh! Hmm. Making sure my, my time is correct on here. All right, yep, we're good. All right. All right, so now they're about to move into the next game, and in between them, uh, so a bit of a heads up, the uh, the storm that you may have noticed, just maybe, that the storm mirror is a little bit crazy. Uh, we're going to be looking probably at uh, Dank wanting to be on the play for this next one. Um, Dink and I actually had a conversation after the tournament. He went back and watched um, the game between me and Arsteel, and I took the draw in game two, and he was trying to figure out why that was. So, uh, Dank is... Dank is... Uh, and, and in a matchup like this, especially since there are hate cards that are substantial one from the other, like Defense Grid, I can absolutely see that. It, it makes sense to want to go on the play here. Um, when you know that the opponent doesn't happen to have a card like Force of Will, that makes it substantially more likely that a turn one combo will succeed if you have the resources with which to do it. Um, and this is not exactly a grindy control match, although it sort of ended up being it in that case. Uh, these two are just sort of hurling bombs at each other. Uh, time walk, snap, time walk, necro, both of them lost their bolus citadel, <laughs> all kinds of silly stuff like that. Uh, so we'll be going into the next game in just a bit. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like they're still sideboarding, so uh, give us just a give us just a moment, I guess. Let's see, something else I can I can talk about for this matchup. So let's see. I mean, I, I don't know that there's that much more to say, to be honest. Um, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so I, I figured out what happened with the chain there. Um, apparently they were using the uh, ability on Chain of Vapor to return a land to copy the chain, or to, yeah, to copy it. But I don't remember it working that way, to be honest. I'll have to look at the text again to make sure, but I thought that chain was... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. You can target your own Mox Jet. And then since you were the target, since one of your permanents was the target, you can return a land, and then do it again, and then do it again. Okay, okay. That makes that makes sense now. I got... I, silly Jay. Alright, so that makes a lot more sense. You can do it multiple times with Chain if you target your own permanents. Alright, 61. Yes. 61 cards. Oh boy, in a combo deck. Uh, grand Finals. I mean... Uh, it is a million one odds, to be fair. It is absolutely uh, welcome to vintage, I guess. This is a, a deck that's running D Tutor, Vamp Tutor, Mystical Tutor, uh, Dark Petition <laughs> times three, I think. It, it's quite the deck. You have lots of ways to get those, uh, those Miser's copies. All right, so they're both keeping, and we're looking at uh, Dank Mulling uh, down to six. We have Force of Will, no blue card. Oh boy. Uh, I see two lands, and, huh, is that Ravenous Trap? Or, alright, uh, joy, I'll, I'll get to see that in a bit. So they're already getting, Arsteel's already getting the Storm shenanigans out, because we have Bant Moxen and Black Lotus, one land, we have a Writ, we have Preordain, and Brainstorm, and Pluted Delta. So, yeah, that's a, that's a lot going on there, and by the way, that's a Cabal Ritual, it's a threshold dark ritual, so it's often going to just be way better in this deck. Now that's a pyroblast, so uh, shout out to <laughs> shout out to pyroblast being able to stop these shenanigans. 
Because there's a second one, we know this brainstorm is also not going to resolve, unfortunately. Uh, now, there is a choice here. Since this is a storm deck, you may want to hang on to the rest of those, uh, because you know the opponent's not going to be playing like a chalice, for instance. Chalice on zero, because that'll hurt them too. Well, I guess you don't know it, but it seems unlikely. Uh, and you're a storm deck, so you would like, if at all possible, to hang on to those so that you can use them on a storm turn. Um, yeah, so we're passing along. That's that's exactly what's going on here. Hercules Recall off the top. That's interesting. All right, so play another land. We have a Misty Rainforest now. There we go. So we have all of our lands, uh, and there's Force of Will Blue card now. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a thing. That is def- and not only a blue card, that blue card is Hercules Recall. Okay, so it looks pretty decent for Dank here. I, I rather like this spot. So upkeep Brainstorm. Uh, we know that the Pyroblast is going to do its job again. Oh boy. Whale, so now presumably- oh no, we're fetching anyway. I mean, we have lost the one copy of Brainstorm, so you might as well fetch for deck thinning and to turn on Ritual with Threshold. Uh, so that's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, with only one Brainstorm and one Ponder, it's you're not as incentivized to hold up the fetch lands uh, to save them for those, you see. Uh, now, that library is not going to draw cards for a while, but, you know, let me eat my words as soon as a recall comes off the top or something. Another reason, though, you want to keep those in the hand, it is a library deck. Alright, so on the other side, it is Dank's turn. Dank drew Paradoxical Outcome. Uh, however, without any any permanents to use with it just yet, unfortunately. Alright, so fetching, and getting an underground sea. We are playing Detutor. That is a interesting art for Detutor. It resolves. Uh, we have, now, the shields can be down here because, again, force of will. Uh, so, whew, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Ooh, is that Ancestral Recall? I guess we're going to get to reload next turn. There's a top, though. That's a good card. That's a really good card. Now, does this resolve? It resolves. Okay. Good for that. Alright, so spinning the top, seeing what they have coming up. Oh boy. Yeah, this looks really good for Dank. It's going to take... Right now, there's all gas but no payoff in Steel's hand. However, with the top out, even if something gets countered here, uh, and I don't necessarily like letting the top resolve, to be honest, but unless something gets countered here, I mean, e even if something gets countered, I should say, they're still going to be able to keep going turn after turn after turn because they can just filter the top of their deck so well. Just, you know, keep the, the most live card on the top as best they can. And if they have a fish land, they can just do it again. Um, so I, I personally think that it's probably better to counter the, the top. Hmm. Especially since they have a recall in hand, they know they're going to get a chance to reload. So, force pitch, uh, recall probably. Okay, so fire it off right away, as you do, targeting themselves. One reason you might think it's wrong is that they would like to have force of will to fight over ancestral recall. Without looking at the deck list, again, it's not a force of will deck, so I don't know how likely that would be, but mental misstep is a card, fair enough. Um, so, they found a land, Snapcaster, oh boy, and Vamp Tutor. They found a lot there. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. So, I, I'm guessing this is Cast Top, and then probably hold it up. So, Duress, Mystical Tutor, Lotus Petal on top. Uh, letting me know, oh, I didn't know you could direct message like that. Interesting. Duress, Mystical Tutor, Lotus Petal. So, Duress on top, oh boy. Let's see. I mean, if they need to, they can spin the top Mystical Tutor to shuffle. Of course, they also have Vamp Tutor to shuffle as well. With the Snapcaster, they're in pretty decent shape. They can go Snapcaster Recall. That's that's pretty good, if they like all three cards. Which, those are all live cards. Uh, duress to stop some hate. Oh, speaking of Duress, there's that broken Duress again. Alright, and yeah, it's a top war. Both of them playing, one is playing the From the Vault top, and the other just has regular top. Um, I, I'll, if at all possible, try to play the original version of a card, uh, instead of, like, altars or shiny versions, but 
I, there are a few exceptions. I strongly prefer From the Vault uh, Dryad Arbor. It's pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. And I prefer the Judge promo over the Onslaught versions of the Fetchlands, but I'll still play the Onslaught Fetchlands in something like this. It just fits the aesthetic of playing Vintage. I, I like the modern but not M15 border, so Judge promos for the, for the win. Alright, so then, now there's a response. We are fetching... Let's see what we're getting. This is... Let's see, now, remembering that the top cards are Duress, uh, Mystical Tutor, Lotus Petal, none of them are going to be really great for getting off here, unfortunately. Um, if they had been rearranged so that Mystical Tutor could be on top, then you leave yourself the option of Spin and then... Uh, Oh, they're doing it again. They're Okay, they're changing the order. Fair enough, I guess. Okay. I like this. I like this game. This is a complex matchup. Both people are playing hard decks. A difficult decks to pilot. A Mystical Tutor, Time Walk, Pedal. Oh yeah, that's, oh, geez, that's pretty good. <laughs> um... I, I don't know that I necessarily like that order very much. Okay. Interesting. Wait a minute, if it was Mystical Tutor, Time Walk, Petal, why am I not seeing any of those cards in the... hand? misspoke, I guess. Alright. It happens. Alright. So then, on the other side, uh, thinking about the, uh, the shenanigans here to be done with Top, as you do, all of the silliness with Top. Oh, because I was, it's R-Steel doing it, not Dank. I'm silly. I'm silly. It was R-Steel typing that out. My bad. My B. I'm sorry. I caught, I caught that eventually. I'm just... Alright, so time walk. Very good. Oh boy. Now I just realized I did that commentary operating under the wrong person. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, now now we get some silly stuff going on. Uh, so presumably duress first. You only have the one mana to use for duress. You only have the underground scene. No black mana otherwise. Unless you're gonna pop lotus, and no, you're not. Um, Let's see. Time walk just as an explorer. Storm takes too many brains when you're sick. Uh, would be interesting. We know the next card. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. You could go time walk and then untap on your upkeep Mystical Tutor. I would like to be able to fire off the dress at some point, though. Alright. Time walk. Okay, there we go. I like that. You want to be careful how many cards you cast on this turn, though, because you are trying to build for Storm. And if you're just going to pass the turn, I mean, it's not ideal. Alright, so here we go. Maybe. Dank is thinking. It's going to go. It's going to go off. Uh, and then Duress, presumably. Oh! Oh no, they didn't Duress. Why did they not Duress? I, I get that it builds Storm. Alright, so they're, they're going to draw off of Library. That's a Dark Petition. Ooh, okay. So now we don't know any of the cards from top anymore, because they've all been drawn. Um... Let's see... Okay... So... What I'm thinking probably is Duress off the Underground Sea, and then... Let's see... Mox, Petal, that's Storm is 3, Storm is 3, and then, yeah, Duress, Mox, Petal, Black Lotus, Storm is 4, um... And at that point, you do have Spell Mastery, and I don't know for sure, actually, what the count in the graveyard is after the pedal gets cracked. Uh, so it would be plus duress and pedal. So maybe you have threshold. 
for ritual. But that doesn't look like what we're... well, hmm. Now, granted though, I'm just spitballing. I'm not the pilot. I don't pilot this deck regularly. Um, I would think though that you would do that into Dark Petition, get Yogmoth's Will, and then Yog will go crazy. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna do top first. And by Yog will go crazy, I mean um, you'll eventually cast the Dark Petition again to get Tendrils of Agony and, you know, go to town. Uh, you would need Storm 9. There's Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster getting recall? Yeah, ooh. Oof. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough. I mean, that was going to happen anyway, but dang. And R still did say that he's not feeling all that well, to be fair. So, just just real quick, I want to I go over this again. Um, had it been Duress, Mox, Mox, Black Lotus, Lotus Petal, uh, Ritual, Dark Petition, Yogwill, Petal, Black Lotus, Tendrils. We're way over had we done that. Um, and the, the dress takes Force of Will, so they don't even have to worry about any shenanigans there. Unless Snapcaster Ancestral Recall gets another Force of Will. That could do it. That could do it. Okay. And by the way, you know, if they did play Snap Ancestral Recall, that technically adds to Storm, so, you know, there is that. Um, but I, I actually don't know the outcome of this game, so I, I don't know if they see that line or, or what. I also could just be missing something, to be fair. There, there could be something I'm not seeing correctly. <gasps> Mind's Desire is going on top. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Yeah, that's a card. Oh, okay, never mind. They found... So, I would have been wrong, because they found another Force of Will. I mean, I couldn't have known that, um, but because they found Force of Will, Force of Will pitch in this hand probably Hercules Recall, and then they're fine. Alright, so spin the top. Ooh, yeah. Dank just kind of <laughs> got to have everything here. That's... that's a nightmare. Now, in that case, though, the Mind's Desire ends up probably being better because it goes and gets, uh, I mean, it has Storm, so Force of Will one copy. It's, it's not as impactful. In that case, it, it actually kind of works out, not doing it the way that I said. Alright, so, you know, <laughs> that, that'll do it. Whew, it's getting hot. Just a little bit. You can probably tell by the hair I've already gotten a shower, so I, I don't want to get too sweaty. Stay here, though. I don't have that much of a choice. Can't turn on the fan, fans, because you won't be able to hear me. All right. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll do a um, a video where I have it's it's me on, but it's just the music because I had the fan turned on just so that I could think. Uh, if that happens, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So Dank is thinking, because this is complex, a little bit. In all those cards, not a single land. Uh, not that it makes that much of a difference here, uh, but that paradoxical outcome could be better. Um, it's, it's not... Alright, so ponder first. Yeah, um, fair enough, I guess. Let's see what we get. So, the top three cards, uh, they drew... Oh, Resolution, you're killing me. Oh, it's Monastery Mentor. It's Promo Monastery Mentor. Ooh, God. Yay for restricted cards. I, I legitimately love Mentor. It's one of my... I will try to make the thing work in Modern and Pioneer. It doesn't, but that won't stop me from trying. I just love the card so much. All right. It's it's pretty good, you may know. You may you may be aware. Monastery Mentor is, is all right. 
Yeah, there's absolutely a side of me that just wants to jam Minter in every format that I I can't run Infect. <laughs> it's just a cool card, but outside of Vintage, the fact that it's three mana hurts a lot. But if you let it go off, or if you get to untap with it, it just takes over the game. It's like Pyromancer on steroids. But Pyromancer's two mana, so... Alright. And to be fair, there's a lot more advantage to come out of a format that has Moxon, which also trigger Mentor, but not Pyromancer. So spinning or tapping top, or yeah, tapping top. And there we go, there's a Black Lotus. Just when you think it could get worse. Alright, so they do have to actually play the Lotus here if they would like to get Mentor out. And then. And then they can kind of slow roll it a little. Oh, nope, they're just going on Yawgmoth's will. I mean, they do kind of have it, don't they? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, please do Lotus Mentor. Oh, they're getting a fit. Okay, land first. Makes sense. Ooh. Fair will always look so weird to me. All right. Let's see. Alright, so fetch it, exile, we got another underground sea. The frame makes me think watery grave, but no underground sea. Alright. Hmm. Tough hand. So, cracking black lotus. And we're getting our counters out. Yeah, good times. Good times, folks. <laughs> oh. Love some of the silliness for this. We, uh, we can add... Oh, is that supposed to be... Huh. Okay. Aha! There we go. So there's D-Tutor again. That was Black Mana then. Uh, so we're not on the Mentor plan, we're on the Kill You Now with Storm plan. Which I hear is also pretty good. Uh, D-Tutor to go and get whatever the heck they feel like, I suppose. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Ah, uh, Narset. That, okay, that's an interesting card for this. Alright, Ponder. I have no idea what's going on anymore. This is this is so different than the line I would have taken. Not that it's wrong, um, I also just don't know the deck as well as Dank does. So, th because of that, there's, there's something else going on here. Maybe this is just the, I, I'm gonna lock you down and slowly win on Mentor next turn, but... Or not next turn, but cast mentor next turn. Huh. Okay, so there's a mox. I don't know, when you have that many cards, you can afford to play really patiently. Alright, so vamp tutor. So there's a mox jet. Hello? Hello? Untapped the mox jet. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, okay, because there was black mana still in the pool. Okay. That makes sense. Just use that instead. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> Snapcaster swing for two. All of two damage. I mean... What? I, I am so lost, folks. I am so lost. Why did we not cast Narset? I'm sure there's a reason, but why? Ah, so we know that there's Mind's Desire. Oh, is this on upkeep or... No, this is after the draw. Okay. So I don't know what the next card after Mind's Desire is. Hmm. Alright. You yeah, with that double Force of Will... Now, one thing about playing the Narset out is that you do have to worry about um, just from the cards that they have in their hand how many copies they can make for of Mind's Desire. Um, that is true. But when you have that many Force of Wills as well, had to take a super quick pause. Yep, yeah, oh, it happens. All right, Kitaxian Probe targeting Dank. 
And now Denk gets to say, or R still gets to say, yeah, oh man, that hand, that hand, it's like three, four, two fluster and a blast. <laughs> well, so this duress looks a little, little awful, unfortunately. I mean, you, you still cast it, I would think. It builds your storm count, you get to take one of the forces, and then mine's desire for yes. <laughs> Mine's desire for yes. That's a, a very technical term. Oh boy. Alright. I mean, this looks like the kind of thing you can play through. Sapphire, though? For Ponder? Okay. So if they only play Duress, and then... Petal Black Lotus, they get Mind's Desire. But now, now Dank is in a position where he can counter the Black Lotus so that they can't actually cast Mind's Desire this turn. Well, actually, no, that, that was the case beforehand because we're at Exaxes for mana. And Dank does know about the Mind's Desire because of the Mystical Tutor. Oh boy. The, the joys of being a, a backseat gamer, I'm afraid. Hmm. Let's see. So, rearranging in the deck and drawing a card, as you do. I, I do believe I remember this being one of the sections that takes a while, unfortunately. Alright. So in the meantime, what would your line have been instead, folks? Um, I don't know. This is, this is a fun game. Oh, no, wait a minute. There's the ritual as well. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, yeah, with Threshold on, you could go... From this spot right here, after the Ponder resolves, regardless of what the card is, Underground Sea is Duress, take a Force of Will. Lotus Petal, Black Lotus, even if the Black Lotus gets countered, and then you only have one, two, three mana left, you can play, you can crack the Lotus for Ritual, and Ritual gives you five mana, and you would not have the mana for, you wouldn't have the blue mana for Mind's Desire. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so that wouldn't work. It would let you cast Dark Petition, but it wouldn't let you cast. And Dark Petition could get Yogg Will, I guess? So yeah, if you if you use Duress to take Force of Will, even if they force the Black Lotus, then like either they don't force the Black Lotus and you cast Mind's Desire, and you're good, or you force the Black Lotus, and then you can't force the Dark Petition anymore. And then Dark Petition gets Yogg Will, and you get to do it all again. Man, yeah, there's a lot of... You Can you tell this This is a complex deck to play? This is a... Whew, this is hard. But, you know, our steel is, is, like you said, sick. So, give, give him a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Shoutouts to our steel with the... Santa hat in the profile pick in June. <laughs> or I guess this was May. Yeah, um, Christmas and spring. <sighs> well, I know we have at least one person here in the in the league that's Australian, so uh, for them this would be fall. This would be autumn. Fair enough. I almost want to shuffle so I can stop thinking so hard. Oh, uh, not in grand or in finals. It's not grand finals. Uh, grand finals is for double elimination tournaments. Uh, this is just finals. That would be interesting to have double elimination magic tournaments. I would not be okay with it. Um, <laughs> maybe you know what? If we once we get to top eight, then yes, then we can. But it's not entirely skill based, like fighting games tend to be. Uh, follow your heart. Heart of the cards, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. 
Kaiba. <laughs> I, I won't be a voice actor. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, you know what? You know what? Better late than never. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn on the forgot to turn on the light so you can see me a bit better. Thankfully, it's it's pretty pretty bright out, so hopefully you can. Hopefully. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. All right. So let's see. We have our, our ritual going on. Uh, this is force pitch, Hercules recall. So that that breaks that. Uh, so now. Let's see. Now they have five mana. And they can't use the duress anymore. Um. Hmm. I mean, they can't use the duress unless they don't want the dark petition to resolve, is the problem. Because they have one, four, five mana to work with. Yeah, I think that there was a I think there was a better line here. Yeah, but I, I get a, a nice little top down view. Well, I get the same view that R Steel has because of that Gitaxian probe. Um, I, I know the Gitaxian probe is one of those cards that it's easy to get kind of I mean, it's a mana free way of getting all of the information about what your opponent's playing. I I like it. I like it. Um, <coughs> I don't know. It, for vintage, anyway, I like it. Looking back at it, I've mellowed on the notion that it shouldn't have been banned in other formats. I think it's fair enough that it, it was. Um, you know, legacy when you have Gitaxian Probe and Cabal Therapy in the same deck. Uh, like Grixis Delver, it's just, it's a lot to deal with. <laughs> it's kind of silly. And also, yeah, I know, I play Infect, so to be honest, I may be a bit biased there. Just keeping it real. Is that Time Twister? Ooh. Waifu Twister. <gasps> oh, that's right, Narset's out! Oh, that hurts so much! Oh! Oh, that's game. That's game, folks. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts so bad. Uh, I can feel that. All right, so what's happening here is our steel is going to have to take the hand in graveyard, shuffle them back, and then draw a card instead of seven from Time Twister because of Narset, just draw a card. Whew. Vamp Tutor sets of good top decks, factual. So, Waifu Twister, yeah. We're trying to see if that resolves. Um, it does. Spoiler alert, it does. I feel like this game was close, but maybe there's a... Maybe I was missing something, or... I don't know. Whee! Oh, that that poor that one poor little polluted delta. Oh, Narset! Oh no! <laughs> Narset is such a stupid card, and I love it. I love it. Narset is an obnoxious card. Why? No, I I like Narset. She lets you do interactions like that. Nurse, that's one of those cards that's asymmetrically fun, but I have fun when I'm getting my butt whooped, so I I don't know. In a game like this, I just have fun all the time. Now, that was that two lands this turn? I can't remember if they had five lands going into this turn or not, to be honest. Okay, well, I hope I'm wrong. Not that it makes a difference in the outcome of this match. It's, it's pretty much settled anyway. But, uh... Yogg will was the turn before. Next turn. Yeah. Alright, so Narset again. See what we can find. Just a hard F6 from our seal here. Ooh. I wonder if saying 
hard F is going to get this video demonetized? Like, is that something that YouTube cares about? Is that something YouTube thinks? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there's more mana, even more mana, just all of the mana here. Cheese. Cheese thorns. Why? Okay, so we're, we're just going to do it now, I guess. We have Paradoxical Outcome. Just return it all to hand. One, two, three, four. You know what? Just return Narset to hand to Snapcat. Just return all of them. Alright, so draw six. That seems pretty good. Waifu Twister. <laughs> okay. So, and then we get to draw six. There's... Tinker, Lavinia, oh jeez, there's so much, there's so much stupidity going on here, and there's a Mana Crypt. No other Paradoxicals though, so, well, no, no, there's a Merchant Scroll for Paradoxical Outcome, so now we still have it. We still have it. And, Hercules Recall can target yourself after you float the mana, just to make more mana, if you need to. If, if you happen to need that much, but no, we, we don't, we're just gonna... <laughs> Do this. We're just going to do this. Oh boy, yeah, and that's a scoop. That's a scoop. So three one for Dank. Oh, yeah, we were gonna do the Hercules recall, return our stuff. Silliness. Alright, so good games. Good games from uh from Dank Confidant, Dank Capidant, and R Steel. That was that was a wild ride. I well, wow, okay, and there they go. So, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. Take care, Untap Open League, who's watching this video. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye!